Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. Lord, eliminate my limitation. Increase my opportunities. That's what he was crying. Increase my what? Opportunities. Ladies and gentlemen, opportunities, when they are increased, you become. Just look at the opportunity you have now. And this opportunity is producing 50,000 every month. Let's increase the opportunity to five. That gives you 250 every month. Let's increase the opportunity to 10. That gives you 500,000. There is no way you will live a kind of life you are, going, you are living now when 500,000 comes every month. No, you are not listening. Are you listening to me? Increase it and it becomes 1 million a month. There is no way you will live the way you are living with 50,000 when 1 million naira comes in a month. Increase my opportunities, oh Lord. Increase my opportunity. That's the only thing that would make people know that this way I'm looking at is real. You know the reason why they produce sedan costume jewelries. Costume jewelries. Huh? Costume jewelries is an imitation of gold. It's not gold. And those who wear costume jewelries, when they wear it, eh, they look, when you see them, you think it's gold. There's powerful costume jewelries. They are not gold though. Half of the one in the neck, half gold. If you sell all, it won't buy half gold of what costume jewelries are. If you look at the rings, costume jewelries, it's living a false life. What makes a man live a false life? He doesn't have it. So he produces something that looks like it. Taiwan, thank you. Don't, don't blame me this morning, but I'm trying to get something across to you. Am I communicating? That's it. That's why costume jewelries are produced. So that when you wear it, it looks like gold. But is it gold? When you ask those who are wearing it, you say yes. Hey. Then you begin to say, my God, my God, my God. So where are they waiting, waiting they happen? then you can now begin to think on how you will get your own. How, how, then you know the cost of gold. So if this person had this number of mo so much money to buy all this on the hand, if you, if you go to some nations in Africa, that's where you will see what I'm talking about. When you see women dress with costume jewelries, if you come from Nigeria, you will just be ashamed of yourself. Ask your mother, she will tell you. Not gold. So don't kill yourself. It's Jabez. They look honorable, but it's not real. <laughs> Lift your hand and say, Lord, increase my opportunities in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, Change my story. I'm going to close here. The yoke of unfruitfulness. The yoke of what? Look at the next prayer of Jabez, an honorable man. He said, And that thy hand 
might be with me. So which hand was on him? Hand of frustration. Hand of sorrow. This morning, whatever hand that is causing tears in your life, if you shout amen, I break it off in the name of Jesus. Jabez said, God, let your hand, your hand of blessing, your hand of success, your hand of abundance, your hand of advancement, let it be on me. I have suffered wicked hands. When wicked hands stands as a yoke on a man's life, nothing good happens. Every human hand on you that has been oppressing you, if you shout amen where you are, that hand with us from today. Look at his next prayer as we close. He says, and that thou, and that thy hand be with me, and that thou wouldest keep me from evil. Please lift up your hand. Say, Lord, keep me from evil. I just, I just wish, I just wish you understand. Evil. Evil. One of my friend's son, that is how evil comes. When the hand of evil is upon a man, you don't do anything for the evil to take place, for evil to come upon you. When the yoke is on you. He was in the house. Sir, there was a call by his friends. So, boy, show up, show up, show up, show up, show up, show up. Oh, go drink. He ran and came to a place. The friends were there. They were in the middle of a school field. They say, show up. He just came. As he came, he was trying to find out, so where are we going? There was a siren. Phew, 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 phew. He didn't know anything. His friends, they ran. So, he doesn't know why they were running. It was police. He was the one standing. They caught him. One of his friends was running, dropped the gun. So they picked the gun. Are you following my story? They picked the gun and picked him. How would he say? Because those boys had just gone to rob a place. How would he say he is not? He, he stayed, before he came, I said about five years in prison. For what he didn't do. I pray for you today. Whatever evil is cooking, whatever evil is conceived, in the womb of Satan against you or against your children, may it not be given back to in the name of Jesus. <laughs> See them. Evil. In 1974, 75, I was working in a hotel and I was the manager of the hotel. I was managing it and somebody deceived me and I left for four months. That was in 74. In 75, I came back and appealed to my boss and he accepted me back. See evil when the yoke is on a man. The night I resumed, Handed over the key to me. I took charge of the hotel. I have a place to sleep. And where I'm supposed to sleep is where the money is. So, I'm supposed to sleep there. This evil pushed me. I saw one girl upstairs. I went and slept with the girl. When I went to sleep with the girl, thieves broke the place that night, carried away every money. The first day I resumed, 
after about five months. When I came down, saw that the door had been broken, all money gone. They asked me, I said, I don't know. They said, he were away for five months. We never experienced this. So you went to organize with robbers. Where did you sleep? I, I said that the empty room, empty room upstairs. And that empty room is meant for executive. So why did you, it's better they punish me for the empty room than what I didn't know. Ladies and gentlemen, they, everybody agreed I was a thief. They were going to bring police to, to take me. And I jailed threat. Because there is nothing I, I can prove. Nobody to stand for me. Then somebody suggested that they should bring one malam. They have very powerful charm to catch whoever is the thief. They brought the malam. One sit here. One sit here. They have two sticks put on their breasts. And they have one stick. If you are the thief, as soon as you put the stick in between the two sticks... It will compress the... Then when it compress the stick, you are the one. If you are not the one, the, the, this thing will begin to expand. You know what they did? They did it for everybody. All the prostitutes, every worker, those who are working in the canteen, everyone, they did it minus me. So my kinsmen came and called me and said, tell us, let us find out how much they stole how much you took. We will gather money and pay. Then you will walk and pay us. Don't bring this shame on us. I look at them. I said, they said, don't tell us lies. You were not here for, for, for five months. The night you resume. So when they gave me the stick, my kinsmen started walking away. You know, when you are going down, nobody wants to go with you. They started walking away. I took the stick. I look up. I look around. If they are ready to lynch me if this thing compressed the stick. But I didn't steal. I stood there. I got frozen. I've been, I'm, I make a mistake and I'm still I'm not, I, You know what? I put, when I was putting the stick, I just knew that anything can happen. I put the stick, the thing began to expand. Begin to expand. That was what exonerated. You for not see me today. <laughs> you for not see pastor. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. When evil is after you, you walk into a place, you didn't commit any crime, but you become a victim. Stand to your feet. Did I bless anybody this morning? Lift up your hands. Pray, say in the name of Jesus. You are not ready to pray, so. Can I hear somebody say, in the name of Jesus? By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I confront every yoke upon my life right now. You yoke of unfruitfulness. Of unfruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I destroy. I destroy. Your power. Your power. I'm going to let you pray for a few minutes. Say in the name of Jesus. Every altar. Every altar. In my background. In my background. Every covenant. Every covenant. In my background. Background. Every dedication, every dedication in, my in my background, every pronouncement, every pronouncement in, my background, in my background that has empowered, that has empowered witchcraft, witchcraft to, execute to execute the order, the order of yoke of yoke 
of limitation of limitation in my life in my life you strange authors you strange authors from my father's house from my father's house from my mother's lineage from my mother's lineage as i pray as i pray break break